Good evening. We kick it off tonight at five with a lot of big developments just out today in the Delphi murders case. New today, defense attorneys for Richard Allen claim that some crucial evidence in the case is missing, and now they want the entire case against Allen tossed out. So our senior investigative reporter Bob Siegel is here live in studio to sort all this out for us. And Bob, what evidence is in question in this case and why could this potentially be so very important? Well, this is the document that was filed today. It is a motion to dismiss murder charges against Richard Allen because of missing audio and video evidence that the attorneys say was destroyed. And they say that evidence could have been used to show Allen did not commit murder. Allen's lawyers claim two other people were involved in the murders of Abby Williams and Libby German. Their motion says the FBI interviewed those two men just a few days after the bodies of the Delphi teenagers were discovered in 2017. Allen's defense team received a summary of those interviews. They requested recordings containing the full interviews, but they were told those recordings do not exist. Late last month, the defense attorneys learned why. They were told due to a DVR program error discovered in September 2017, all recordings up to February 20th, 2017 were recorded over. The defense team says that means the videotaped interviews were deleted by the police. And they say it's unknown what other interviews were deleted during the relevant time frames in the first week following the murders. They say they believe the deleted recordings would contain evidence that could support Allen's defense, including showing inconsistencies in what the other suspects told police when they were interviewed. The defense attorneys also claim police had prepared search warrants for those other men's cell phones, but there's no evidence that the warrants were ever served. For all those reasons, the defense team wants the judge to dismiss the murder charges against Allen because they say the missing evidence violates his constitutional right to due process. It's just the latest claim that could result in this murder case later going to appeal where it would be scrutinized for errors and possible misconduct. And the last thing anyone wants is to put all these resources into resolving a case, whether that's trial or otherwise, and you have to come back and redo everything later on. This new motion names the two men that the defense team says were involved in the murders. 13 News is not naming them at this point because they have not been charged with any crime. But new claims by the defense team raises questions about whether those other men should have been charged and whether police investigated them thoroughly. And Bob, earlier you mentioned that the day did kick off with a key decision from the judge in this case. Yeah, Judge Frances Gall said that she will not step down from the Delphi murders case. The defense team has questioned her ability to be impartial and they requested that she step aside. In her order, she cited the Indiana Supreme Court's unanimous ruling recently allowing her to remain as the special judge. Coming up at six, I'll explain why today's announcement could end up right back at the Indiana Supreme Court. All right, our continuing coverage at six. Thanks so much, Bob. Yeah. In the meantime, uh, we are counting an anniversary in this case. Because next week marks seven years since someone killed Abby Williams and Libby German. We've been following the investigation into their deaths ever since. You can see our complete coverage when you scan this QR code right there on the center of your screen. It'll take you to WTHR.com slash Delphi. Tonight,